going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Today I wanted to count down my top five favorite guest features on Kanye West's The Life of Pablo. Now with any Kanye album, I think the guest features are a huge uh, selling point. We want to see who Kanye is going to work with this time around and this time there was no shortage of guests to choose from. So, number one, Chance the Rapper. Chance takes over Ultralight Beam. He does so in a way that um, he just stands out as the sole best guest feature on the entire album. There's not many rapping guest features on the album. A lot of it is uh, hooks and things. But for Chance to come in and really just renegade the hell out of that verse, um, you know, it says a lot. And I think... I'm slowly becoming a fan. Like I've said in the past how I'm not a big chance fan just because of the voice. It's hard to get past, but I think the more I listen to chance, the more I'm growing to accept it and to appreciate it because uh his ultralight beam verse, he does a lot of different things with his voice. I mean, he he ranges from rapping to singing and he does both really well and it's almost like it just blends effortlessly. So Chance has the number one guest feature on the album, in my opinion. Number two, Rihanna on Famous. Now, Rihanna is pretty much just doing a cover of Nina Simone's Do What You Gotta Do, but she sounds so angelic doing it. Um, Rihanna's voice is just amazing. And the fact that she has one hook and then she has another hook, and they're not just the same. They're, they're two different hooks. But they sound amazing and just fit into the concept of Famous. And that's why I have to give her that number two spot. Number three, a lot of people, I don't know. I think a lot of people were not expecting this man to be on the album. But Young Thug has made his way onto a Kanye West album cementing himself in history. He's on highlights. And the only issue I have with him on that song is that... Kanye only has that one hook in the beginning. Young Thug doesn't appear at any other points within the song. Um, the song kind of, you know, sh takes uh, different changes and shifts here and there. The dream comes in, things of that nature. So the, my only complaint is that Young Thug is not on it enough. But the two have said that they have like 40 records together. And Kanye was teasing it on Twitter, so... It's it's likely that we'll hear more from the duo in the near future. Uh, number four, and speaking of 40 records, Kanye also said he has 40 records with this guy. I guess 40 is the magic number. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar really did his thing on No Parties in L.A. He's the only other rap guest feature, and I think it, it really stood out. Um... He he went in, he killed it for his, uh, you know, minute or whatever he was in. And I think he just really complimented what Kanye West was doing. I think that Kanye did, however, spit a lot better. And maybe that plays into the factor of Kanye having, you know, four extra minutes to, you know, Kendrick's one. But the two played well off each other, and I'm definitely interested to hear more, especially if it's over some Mad Lib production. I know they said that they got six CDs from Mad Lib, and nothing else made the album, so I don't know. <clears throat> um, lastly, number five, Kid Cudi on Father Stretch My Hands Part 1. Kid Cudi is on the album twice, but Father Stretch My Hands Part 1 is just the the best part and i think the reason why kid cuddy's part on there is so appreciated is because we haven't heard that kid cuddy in a long time um you know speed and bullet to heaven was more on the alternative side i really wasn't a big fan of it so hearing um kanye being able to bring out that you know that fun energy that fun singing kid cuddy that we used to know that we used to love um it, it says a lot and those are my top five guests on The Life of Pablo. I'd love to know what yours are in the comment section below. Um, and then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.